Today we're going to learn how to connect the voltage current probe to the computer for the purposes of doing a photovoltaic characterization. We want to do a current voltage curve for these solar cells. The device is a USB interface. This is called a USB link. It has a port here that takes multiple probes and the other end is a USB cable that hooks to the computer. The probe we're going to use is a current voltage probe which has four cables. Two are voltage cables. They come out of the end and two are current cables. They come out of the middle. These are all labeled. So we're going to plug the current voltage probe into the USB link. Now we're going to connect the cables to the solar cells. I have three solar cells that are wired in series and they're color coded with cables for red for positive and black for negative. So we'll start with the current or the voltage probe, the red voltage probe here coming out of the end of the interface and we're going to take one of the current probes and just plug it in on the back of this so that we don't have to make multiple connections that we can just have this one hooking up and we'll go ahead and hook that to the red cable at the end of the solar cells. The other side wants to be connected to the uh, current probe also but this time instead of going directly to the current probe we're going to go by way of a, a resistor. So this is a uh, 10 turn 500 ohm variable resistor. So you have to turn this thing 10 times in order to get the full 500 ohms. And then we're just going to put this in series. So we're going to hook one end to the back of the probe here. This is the uh, voltage probe again. And at the other end of the resistor we're going to connect to the coming, uh, the amperage or the current probe. And then this black one goes to the black lead on the solar cells. So now we have voltage being measured across the entire set of three solar cells and current also being measured but by way of a variable resistor and this was what's going to allow us to put different loads on the circuit. I can take my cable now, plug it into the USB port of the computer and I'm going to go ahead and launch the Data Studio application. Okay, the Data Studio has a desktop icon. Click that. And then we're going to open an activity. And I actually have an activity saved called JV Curve, which has all of the controls already installed. So you can say open. And here is the JV curve. This um, application shows two different graphs. One is a power graph and one is the current voltage graph. Also there's two meters, a current meter and a voltage meter. So to begin a data collection run, we want to turn on the light so that there's uh, good uh, illumination of the solar cells. And then I'm going to go click start and then I'm going to grab the variable resistor and turn it and as I turn it it is continually every uh, 10 times a second it's collecting data here of voltage and current and it's building a graph for our experiment. So we've gone from high current no voltage to high voltage no current. And when I'm done with my run, I can hit stop. So on the voltage current curves here, you can see uh, that the, uh, there's a certain curve that is characteristic of this set of cells. There's also a power curve. When the power curve reaches a peak, that is at a certain voltage. So basically you would interpret this thing by saying at about 1.2 volts, we have maximum power and at 1.2 volts we have an amperage output of minus uh, 0.10 amps. 
so this would be the peak power point for this curve.